Hey, welcome back Design Squad. And in this extra tutorial video, I'm going to show you by popular demand, by the way, how to integrate the real data in your repeaters or how to, let's say, take um, Excel or Google Sheets table and pre-populate into your actual prototype. So one way is basically, if you can see, I have this automated thing I use for Strava, which is basically tracking my runs and, you know, tracking all that data. And I can just select, you know, a bunch of different bits. I can copy it and go back to my Axure and I can, you know, paste it in like so. And it's just gonna give me a text field or I can paste in special, which is basically I can paste it in, let's say as a table. And then it's gonna retain that same structure I had in my Google Doc, which you just saw a little while ago. And then I can maybe style it. So, you know, you can always paste in your table information into your Axure, simply copy, paste special, boom, the table is there. So that's a really simple option, right? But now the more complicated bit is actually how do you pre-populate that to repeater so, uh, so you can style it differently and maybe use repeater options, so let's say to advance grid it or make a profile type of thing you know so it's a bit more jazzy so as you can see i added the repeater here already and i'm gonna give it a name let's say run table because it's running information i have as you can see in an outline i have run table i have rectangle inside the repeater because there is nothing else you can just maybe increase it like so so maybe that's how one of my entries is gonna look like and maybe i'm gonna just reduce a border you know, all the typical jazz we do here to style it. Maybe it's simple like that. And then maybe it's just gonna have several text fields, like a text field per each of the table items I just showed you before. So I'm gonna go back in the table just to see exactly what it is. Boom, and I created a simple template. As you can see, it's just text fields. I'm gonna make them dynamic by giving them a name so let's see this is gonna be our date i'm just gonna use r as identifier to easy find it let's say r title r url plus plus r distance and let's say r another metric i don't know what that is really but it doesn't really matter for this demo boom and as you can see automatically repeater replicated because I have three rows, three columns defined with some numbers. If I would just delete them, as you can see, the value disappears. But that's the beauty of it. You know, once you define the repeater template, all you have to do is just paste some data in it. So let me go back into my Google Chrome and I'm just gonna one, two, three, four, five. So let's say maybe I'm gonna take five runs and I'm just gonna take those bits so only the stuff i need oh and now i see what the other metric is so let me just say time boom and that's gonna be our running thing so i'm gonna paste it in so I, all you need to do is just literally select the table in your data set in the style property once you select it the repeater and then simply just paste it inside the actual table boom as you can see it all pasted it in as a uh, all that jazz there is some sort of disturbance here, but it just basically added a field for the first item, which is our date. And I'm just going to do that exactly. Date, title. So you can just rename your the name of the table, item of the row, actually. Let me just expand it. So you see exactly what I just pasted in. Uh, time. Let's see, we maybe don't even need this column and delete it and then url so it's simple as that is basically once you once you paste it in then you can start working with it i'm going to show you how to do so but you know for those people who just wanted to know exactly how do you use the excel or table data from google docs this is how you just basically paste it in and then you are able to integrate it as long as your table template is sorted and mine is so I'm gonna go to interactions and that's where the most important bit because as you can see now on load of the repeater, I'm setting the rectangle, which is that background behind it. We are adding a text to it. Let me show you, which is item.date. So all we need to do is just literally edit it. And I'm gonna be like, instead of rectangle, let's go through our defined text fields like 
our URL and set it to value, which is, I think it was URL. Boom, and as you can see, Strava automatically repopulated. And I just remember it. You could go to functions and then select it from the functions list. Here you see date, title, distance, time, URL. But if you remember how it's spelled, you can just tweak it automatically. And now I'm just gonna paste another one. And instead of URL, say metric. And that was our time, if I'm correct. And I'm just gonna say to time. Boom, pretty good. Styling doesn't matter for now, by the way, because the, the, you see my text fields are constricted by the space, but it works and it does magic, if you ask me. And then I'm gonna say distance, let's say, same exact logic, distance. Boom, the distance is there. And then we can do run, let's say, uh, title. I'm just gonna change it to title. Boom, amazing. And lastly, I think we just need a date. So I'm again gonna select pre predefined text field, our date, and just say date. Kaboom, all done. Now all I need to do is just literally based on how it's represented, just restyle it a little bit so it's not as drastic. But you can see like, let's say these two definitely should be smaller because, because they're quite big in the actual output and URL, just make it longer, let's say, we can reduce it to 10 pixels or so, like maybe something like this, and boom, we have our repeater, which uses actual data from our Google Sheets or, or Excel or something like that. And if I preview it easily, boom, it preloads and all that information is there. And now, for example, let's say if you would have more information to this. You can paste another row from your repeater or just prefill, let's say today. And as you can see, boom, it automatically repeaters adds another one. Let's say lunch, run, 4,000 meters. Boom, easy as that. It's simple as that. I just misspelled lunch, God damn it! But you can see how, how you can utilize it and how to do so. So, I hope this video was useful. As per usual, smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And as per usual, stay tuned for more material.